it's about time. We have Full Self Beta version 10.12.2. And we're gonna take it for our first spin. Loading up the notes here. Uh, this was kind of a last minute thing. I was out of town. We just got back in about 20 minutes ago. So first thing we're doing is suction cupping a camera to my panel roof here and going for a ride. Uh, full self drive, blah, blah, blah. Feel free to pause the video and read. I'm not going to go over the whole thing. Uh, but, uh, yep, I will scroll through for you. Uh, release notes. They, it looks like this is a major update. Don't know for certain because I never had a previous one. So, pause video. Feel free to read. Wow. Looks like they added tons of video clips to the training program to train the uh, neural net. Video record button on the top UI bar to share feedback. Oh, that's an improvement. Oh, yeah. Right here, there's a little picture of a camcorder or camera, uh, um, movie camera, next to the picture of the Tesla Cam Dash Cam, which is next to the Sentry Cam. Uh, visualization improvements. They raised maximum speed because now we are no longer using radar. We're using Tesla Vision. Uh, has been increased from 80 to 85 miles per hour. Good. Uh, charging time estimation has been improved. Additional mobile app controls for dog mode and camp mode. I'll put this on silent because we're going to get tons of phone calls just because I'm, I'm filming. It's, it's, a, it's a given. So that's that. Let's... Uh, there we go. Uh, turn this down, make sure we don't get any music playing. Let's see, can you guys see my dash? A little bit. When I'm tested out tomorrow, I'll probably do a live stream too. Uh, we'll, have, we'll do a little better. I want to move out onto the... Or do I? I don't want to move out onto the street. This is full self-freaking drive. Backing up here. <laughs> Okay, parking again. Don't want to open anything. You know what? I better check autopilot settings. Full self beta. See? I wouldn't have been able to do it. I had to turn it on manually anyways. Full self driving. This is all the disclaimers. Feel free to pause the video and read. By enabling, I can set to Tesla's collection of VIN associated image data from the vehicle's external cameras in a the occurrence of a serious safety risk. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, full self-driving beta. You got chill. In this profile, your Model X will have a larger follow distance and perform fewer speed lane changes. Average. In this profile, your Model X will have a medium follow distance. Assertive. In this profile, your Model X will have a smaller follow distance, perform more frequent speed lane changes and will not exit passing lanes. Let's start with average. This is recording, right? Yep. Just making sure I'm not talking to nobody except the two midget, two mid, two of three midgets in the back. We got number one and number two with us. Number three is staying home to keep Mama company. And she'd be going saying, "Wee!" too much during the uh, full self-drive. Okay, I don't see too much else has changed here. Shazam. Where should we go, Jean? Should we go to the condo? Okay, let's go to my sister's. Navigate to the condo. Shazam. This should be a pretty easy and straightforward drive, as you can see. So how do we activate... I should have read the details a little better. I did read through once. Release notes. How do we activate full self-drive? Uh, um, do you know, Vinny? Uh, um, really? Hmm. If autopilot disables three times, full self drive, expanded full self drive visualization. 
widens autopilot visualizations area when full self-driving is active. What the heck, why not? Let's go for that. Okay, well, there we go. Hey, Gene, take a look at the dash. Look at that. See it? Oh, you can talk, Gene. All right, you guys see that up there? Not too well. Well, now it shows there's a car parked over there. It shows the car in my neighbor's driveway along with their garbage cans. Tesla has been always great at showing where garbage cans are. Uh, let's see. Press to release vehicle hold. Okay, but how do we... Why does it go... Let's see which way it wants to go. <whistles> Holy shit. Excuse the language. For some reason, the car decided to go the long way. There's a motorcycle parked on the side of the road. Let's see what it does. Okay, it's slamming on the brakes. But it went around the motorcycle. Impressive. Uh, still, this is... To be honest, this is driving very aggressively. Okay, stop sign. It sees all the cars across the street there. I don't know what you guys can see. It's inching forward. Nothing coming from the left. That was a rolling stop. Oh no, it was a rolling stop. I'll have to think back on that. Now the lane lines end. Now if I had autopilot in the past active, it would take this road, but it would be very iffy. Right now it is taking this road perfect. This is going a little fast for my tastes. I'm used to autopilot in this area. Okay, this is a yield sign here, not a stop sign, so it did yield. Nobody's coming. It does not have to stop, so even though that was more of a rolling stop, it does not have to stop. Again, that was a yield. Now, on this street, the speed limit is 45, and I have the car set to do about 5 over. So let's see what the car does on its own. 48, 49, and we're pegged at 50. It's showing all the lanes. It's also showing the, uh, the, well, the no parking lane, the emergency lane. Um, it shows the grassy center median as like a fuzzy, poor vision, visual. It sees all the cars on the other side. I am impressed by how much it is actually showing. I mean, shoot, even without full self-drive, I love the visualizations. I'd rather have the visual... Oh, I'd love these visualizations with just regular autopilot. I mean, just the visualizations alone help instill confidence that the car knows what, that might at least knows what it's seeing. Okay, that was a, we're at a stop light, so it did stop, not for very long, but it did stop. Now, this is a two-lane road, however, there's no center line, there's no lines splitting the lanes. It's always just been implied. Now, we should not be going straight. Now, coming up is going to be a four-way stop. We should not be going straight through the four-way stop. Oh, a little, little iffy there. Uh, we're wandering around. It should not be going straight from this lane. It should be going straight from the left lane. Sorry. But... Okay, there's... We're the only car that's at the intersection right now. So we're just going to see what this thing does. Okay, it saw the people walking down the side. So right now we're driving in a parking lane. Okay, it decided... Well, I don't know. It decided to move, itself, move us over. It sees some orange service cones by a storm drain on the right. I don't know if it moved us over because of that. Oh, 
Here's something cool to see if it'll handle. Coming up in front of us is a road work sign that's blocking about 20% of our driving lane. So let's see if it'll drive around. It did not show it on the screen, but it in fact did move over for the road work signs. All right, we have a four-way stop here. We're the only car. Let's see if it comes to a complete stop this time. It did a very short complete stop. Come on, go. Nope, not going in. I got people behind me. All right, I hit the accelerator just to give it a little nudge. Saw three cars parked in there. Wow, this thing is seeing everything. We got an impatient Prius driver behind me. I mean, if you're going to be an impatient driver, a Prius is not the vehicle that comes to mind. <laughs> okay, it's still a 25 mile an hour speed limit on this road. We're doing 35 over, which is what I have it set to. I wish I could give you guys some Boingo Boingo as uh, some background music, but uh, copyright strike will happen. It saw all three cars there. Let's see if it'll see that RV. Okay, it saw the RV in a driveway, but it showed it as a semi-truck. It saw, there's a red car way off in the distance to the right in a driveway. It saw that, it's seeing all the cars. Gosh, this is nuts. I like that I can hit the accelerator. That was the first intervention that I did. I, I hit the accelerator to give it a little more nudge. It was a little unsure at that inner four-way intersection that we had left. Uh, I like that I'm allowed to hit the accelerator to kind of give it a speed nudge when you know it's clear to go and the car is, you know, too iffy. Uh, hopefully their systems take that into account. i got to add some air in here. It's getting stuffy. All right. Car stop. Clear. Okay, it's just taking too long. If I didn't have a car behind me, or a couple cars behind me, um, I would have let it do its thing. Yep, saw a whole bunch of cars in that driveway. Alright, we're coming up to a red light. Let's see what happens. sees cars in the parking lot across the street at a fashion boutique that was House of Fong's Chinese restaurant uh, it sees a parked car across the intersection on the other side it sees the white BMW that's waiting at the red light to turn right um, it looks like it's catching every car coming through the intersection it sees the Prius in my lane partially uh, it's only seen two of the cars in a used car lot across the street to the right. And we should have a green light in three, two, one, boom! And this Prius is probably going to try and cut me off. No. Okay, there we go. Now we're lighting up with cars from the used car lot. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. Rosen, 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 whoosh, Rosen, or you'll save a fistful of dollars until you have to come in for service. <laughs> Just kidding. They let me use their uh, their J1772s back in 2014 or 15 for one of my charging uh, introduction to charging videos. Time to make a new one. Charging has changed quite a bit in the last. Seven years has it been? Wow. There's something about Teslas and so many... They, they see garbage cans so well. That's crazy. All right. Let's see if how it's... There's a pickup truck with a trailer. It sees the pickup truck. Did not see the trailer. It waited its turn and it went. Impressive. Why is the car stopping? 
there's nothing here. Okay, so I'm overriding and giving it some accelerator. That was kind of odd. I, I gotta remember, this is still using Tesla Vision. I've never driven without the radar before. I still think it's a mistake. The radar should still be kept. Um, I like the, uh, what I call X-ray radar, where the radar can actually um, see a vehicle ahead of whatever's in front of you. So if you're behind a car, the radar could bounce under the vehicle in front of you to see what's ahead of that. Which is very nice, especially when you're in city driving and you're trying to see if the guy in front of you is going really slow or, or what. Now at this intersection here, we're going to be making a left. Oh, almost hit the curb. Okay, random dude. Okay, it stopped early, let the random dude pass, and now it actually pulled up to the, the normal stopping area. Our light just turned green, so let's see how the car does. Wow, that was a little bit of a fast turn. Made it just fine. Now, my sister lives in a condo complex. Uh, speed's holding. Holy crap, is this thing tracking the vehicles? It's doing a very nice job with the visualizations. I love this. Alright, uh, now she lives in a condo complex. So I wanna, I'm want i wondering if it'll take us into the parking lot or just out front. Okay, that was a little bit of a hesitant for the turn, but it did it. A little shaky though, but it did it. Um, I'd be a little nervous if there was more cars coming, oncoming cars. It is seeing all the cars in the parking lot. Now there is a Jeep and another, Pri no it's not a Prius, and a Chevy Cruze. Let's see what's going to do. Autopilot navigation complete, press accelerator to resume. Looks like that's it. So, let's just drive around the parking lot real quick and take a look at the visualizations. Holy crap, look at it. Seeing all those cars. Can you guys see this? Huh? Oh, car behind us now. Holy crap, Gene, look at all the cars it's showing on the screen. All the cars that are parked. What do you think, Gene? Can't wait to have the car drive you to school by itself. And this kid is camera shy. He used to not stop talking on the camera. He told me not to interrupt you. Well, I'm I'm asking you to talk. That means you get to talk. And when I said no interrupting, I was talking about your chip bag. Or your cracker bag. Or a loud crunching. And you're doing that on purpose now. This is impressive. Look at this. And it's pretty fluid motion, too. I was having concerns because on, uh, I do have MCU 2, so I got basically as upgraded of, uh, upgraded of hardware as possible. And uh, I'm going to pull over right here. And um, autopilot visualizations were actually getting really choppy. Um, I'm thinking that was just a firmware bug because all things considered, especially for what this is displaying, uh, this is... This is very smooth, very fluid. Overall, that was an easy drive, a really easy drive. It was a pretty much a straight shot here. Uh, extremely impressed. Uh, I'm going to try it in some more difficult uh, situations. Uh, how about, I think on the way home, Gene will take a, a stop uh, somewhere else, okay. just like an intermediate stop. I'm going to shut this off. we got to drop some stuff off, and we will be resuming. Heidi ho boys and girls. This is your favorite Tool Bear Red. Hey, wrong channel. Uh, anyways, um, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, 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 um, yeah, I'm stuttering. Where should we go? Where do we want to go today? Uh, let's try... <sighs> Navigate to Milwaukee Area Technical College South Campus. It's not too far. Mm 
That's two miles away. Where in the campus will it take us? Well, we can give that a shot. Let's try it. Run forward. See all the cars. Are we recording? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. Yeah, good. I turned around that parked car. Did you check your mirrors before before going? All right. Stopped for the sidewalk. Okay, that was a little bit of a holy shit there. Oh, Vinny, you're loving this, hey, aren't you? All right, moving over for parked cars. Not too shabby. So, Gene, what do you think of this full self-drive so far? Yeah. I just can't believe the number of sheer objects it's tracking. No, don't go, don't go, don't go, don't go. Now you can go. <laughs> Park cars. Okay, not too bad. Now I do know a regular autopilot does pretty good on this road. Um, the uh, lane divider line is, oh, bump. Oh yeah, that one always gets me. Uh, lane divider line is uh, pretty faint. Car seems to be picking up pretty good now. Uh, the full self drive is able to drive without lines. Oh, we're gonna do a lane change. Okay, good. No, no, no. Try again. I don't know why it aborted. Right, that's why. Car always switches to recirculation and feet when it does a software update for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's better. Some fresh air. Oof. All right, let's see what it sees from Roz's auto salvage. Yep, a whole line of cars. Great place to get used car parts. No Teslas on the lot, though. Do a lot of body shop work for them. Okay. Pretty uneventful road. We're starting simple here, remember. I think I might actually turn it down to chill. Uh, at least until I get a little more comfortable with it. Saw those parked cars just fine. Saw all those semi trucks at the RTS dock. Day cabs parked there, although it showed those as full trucks. All right, now we should be taking a left turn here, um, kind of cut over the lane line, which is very faint. All right, coming to a stop. The visualization got a little choppy, but it's pretty, it's evened out now. So far, it's doing a good job seeing what's coming. We should have a green light in three, two, one. All right, we got green light. We gotta wait for the oncoming cars, though. Um, it's still displaying a lot of them in blue. I saw the motorcycle. It's hesitating a little bit. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. A little shaky on that left turn. I saw a lot of reports online about the left turns not being the best. Okay, or it was going to do a lane change to the right, which it needs to do eventually. There we go. I wonder if this thing's listening to me. Can you change lanes left, left lane? No, not listening. Now we're pretty close to Mitchell Airport. I might take a shot at Mitchell Airport tomorrow. So far, pretty good. I mean, even regular autopilot does just fine here. The, the real reason for going to the Milwaukee Area Technical College, and 
that's the entrance right there. So it's skipping that entrance. That would have taken us down here, uh, which I suppose actually might have been slower because of having to drive around the back side of the building at a slow speed. Um, because I want to see how it will do pulling into the parking lot at the MATC campus. That's where uh, my wife took ESL. All right, we're going to be turning right at this light, and we have a green. Move over into the right turn only lane. Pretty good. Let's see how we do here. Okay, turn into the first lane, which now merges into the left, and this lane just continues. Perfect. Because curb lane is for bicycles and turning vehicles only. All right, it's going up to 50. It's going to have to slow down pretty quick here because we're turning very soon. Three, two, one, sharp lane change. That was actually really smooth. I'm impressed. Slowing, slowing, turning. Good. Okay, let's see what it does. It's a 15 mile an hour speed limit here. Um, it's got a turn signal on. Oh, I see changed the uh it's been a long time since i've been over here there we go you can shut your turn signal off there we go how fast is it it's doing 14 which is the speed limit for this road with a max of 20. i could probably override it and hit the stock to move it up to 20 but uh 15 is pretty good there's also rock, large boulder rocks on the side of the road to keep people from driving on the grass Looks like they got set up for their uh, motorcycle training classes. Now this should take us straight to the main entrance and office. This is doing really well. Why did we go this way? Uh, I suppose that was technically correct. There was an arrow saying we could go that way. Not the way you'd usually want to go. Ooh, a little jerky. A little jerky. It's going to stop for the stop sign. going to do. They got rid of the J1772? Wow. Besides the fact the only reason they had that was because the assistant dean had a volt and he wanted his free power on the taxpayer's dime. Um, it stopped. I guess navigation. I mean it brought us almost to the exact spot. Let's see what happened if I hit the accelerator a bit. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator now to see what it'll do. Because as of right now, the car still thinks it's on full self-drive. Autopilot navigation complete. Press accelerator to resume. And that's it. Wow. And i got to turn this down a little more now that it's getting dark out. Um, okay, where can we go next? Uh, navigate to... No, it's getting late. Uh, navigate to Highland View Elementary School. Let's see what route it wants to go. Back to College Avenue. Our navigation lines. Let's see what it does. All right, let's leave the parking lot here. Now, mind you, there's no line, so right now it's just reading the curbs. Don't know why we have a turn signal right now. There's no. This is just a driving lane. excuse should I have if I get pulled over for some reason? Now, the road's ending. They we're going straight at the stop sign. Okay, it moved over. Good. Get some fresh air. I gotta get that window down. Alright, we should be going straight. It's, I'm impressed how well it's doing in a parking lot right now. 
if it's doing this good just navigating through the parking lot on its own I'd love to see full self drive for enhanced summon Okay, gotta watch. I don't want to go hitting those rocks. I already have enough bad luck with Teslas and suspension damage. Or failure, I should say. Don't need any more control arms, especially ones that squeak like no tomorrow. Now, the only problem right now is navigation isn't giving me a route. So I honestly have no idea. Well, I guess we're going to turn left onto South Hall Avenue. And then a left onto College Avenue. So we're just going to go straight up College Avenue and turn right on 27. Okay, so this is going to make me really nervous. This is probably the harder, this is going to be one of the harder left turns. This is a scary left turn when I'm driving, let alone. Okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. There's cross traffic coming. Okay, turn. It, it did it. I, I should have left that on before for you guys. Uh, the color looks a little different today. And uh, I was expecting it to accelerate really poking like, like uh, autopilot usually does. We're going to make a left turn at the stoplight. However, uh, once this car pulled out into the lane, there were oncoming traffic coming. Um, it really hauled ass. I mean, it's it floored it to get it up to up to speed quickly. So impressive yet again. Now it is only displaying the vehicle directly in front of me. It no longer sees the vehicle two cars ahead, um, like it would on uh, on the old radar-based autopilot. Now it sees, sees glimpses of it and it shows it. Um, it shows the flashing left turn light. Let's see what we do here. Okay, it went. It must have realized that the oncoming traffic was slowing down to turn into the Speedway gas station. Impressive. Okay, we're going a little fast. We're doing 510 over the speed limit. Let's see if it read the speed limit sign. There, now it says max 40. There's a little delayed reading the speed limit sign. See the semi truck? I saw the semi trucks before I did, although it's got a better view vantage point with the, uh, the cameras up there. regular gas. <laughs> As I laugh my way to the supercharger. Oh, I'll try that one tomorrow. I only got, uh, I'll leave it low. I got 86 miles left in the car. I'll skip plugging in tonight. I'll go to the supercharger tomorrow to see. I want to see if the car will back itself into the supercharging stall. And if it will pick a paired stall or one that's all on its own. It should be something Tesla can eventually program in. Okay, doing good at speed limit, showing all the vehicles. Did you see the food truck? Oh, the food truck's not out tonight. steered around it without crossing over the lane mine. Now 
this road, while it usually works pretty good during the day, it does work pretty good during the day, um, because of all the patchwork done to the road, um, at night it can confuse autopilot a bit. Now, wavered a little bit. Let's see, are we going straight? No, it's turning. Why are we turning? We should be going straight up College and then turn right. But it's probably going to go Grange Avenue and take a left. stopped. It's a little unsure. I don't have anybody behind me, so we're going to let the car do its thing. Stop. 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 Okay, now you can go. Oh, no, another one's coming. Okay, that was a... These turns are still a little iffy. It honestly feels like Tesla should have had... Oh, choose a lane and make a change. All right, did not do a good job of changing lanes. It seems to go halfway, hesitate, go back, and then try again. Uh, I think Tesla really should have had two more cameras at the nose of the car pointing exactly sideways um, so it could see straight out to either side. Oh, yep, saw the turn lane here. We got a flashing yellow for turn arrow. How slow are we going to get? It's stopping for a flashing yellow. It's letting this SUV go first. Come on, are you going to go or not? You're making me nervous here. Oncoming traffic. Whoa, that's a... Okay, so they went over into that gas station. Okay, now the Model X cannot decide if it's where it's going. This is not a lane. You have to move over to the other side of the lane. Snapshot recorded. I'm sending that in. I'm going to have an itchy trigger finger when it comes to that snapshot button. See, once it got over to this side, now we're fine. I think it was confused whether or not it could drive on that lane or not. Maybe, I don't know if it needs more work on being able to read uh, uh, street signs. Like, um, that has a uh, no parking bus stop. I don't know if it can read any of those signs. All I know for certain is it can read speed limit signs. I'm wondering if I'll still get phantom braking on the freeway uh, between Milwaukee and uh, Illinois Tollway. Uh, for some reason on the freeway there, even though it can read the speed limit signs, in certain sections it'll just go from 70 and then the car will just, for some reason, decide it wants to do 35 on the freeway. Okay, there's someone right behind us riding our tail. They must have really been speeding to keep up with it there to catch up with us. Because we're doing five over. Okay, well apparently the car saw someone walking down the sidewalk that I didn't see. Could have been a mailbox though, because I couldn't see anybody in the side of the mirror. Alright, gonna be careful here because the cop lights likes to sit right around this corner. Coming to a stop and I'm gonna get past. Nope, they're turning right. Ah, uh, they got one of those little ramen rocket wings on the back of their car. Which we all know are really tray tables from the their happy happy meals on. Mm. So a little shaky, I am impressed. Uh, if I had to rate full self-drive as of right now, I would say that it does in fact drive better than my wife it took four years to get her driver's license and the first time out she hit a house. Thankfully not with the Tesla. <laughs> and we are arriving at our destination which is Highland View Elementary School in Greenville, Wisconsin. Not too far from the house. Okay, thinking a little too much. Okay, for some reason it's stopping halfway in the intersection. Okay, I'm giving it accelerate. It was stopping at the crossing guard stop sign. 
and okay that was really shaky and it entered the do not enter that's why we're doing it at this time of the night where are you going <laughs> okay I canceled that out yeah that com that was a complete cluster F U C duck duck we'll just say duck cluster duck uh, okay that was a rough one uh, not only did it go enter the do not enter it also went the wrong way through the bus line and it wants to exit through the entrance you does see the arrow for the bus and pickup line so why don't we come here okay it does detect that this is different it shows the grassy median and uh, let's see if I can choose a spot on the map. Well, let me do that. Let's just kind of let's try let's try this little circular bit here. See which way it'll take us. Pretty easy. It sees the uh, the play. F Holy Ooh. shit! We just accelerated to thirty in the school parking lot. Yeah, that's not good. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna say this right now. Um, it is 8:38 p.m., which is why I even thought of attempting to do the school parking lot at this at all. Do not use full self-drive beta or even autopilot or enhance summon in a school parking lot or anywhere there could be pedestrians or children. This is beta. This is not a finished product. A little rough of a turn. Here we go. You are on the wrong side of the road again. Straight is the middle lane. Although I guess it's not really marked out too well. You're still near me. I gotta make a bumper sticker. I'm that I'm still training. Okay. Thinking too much going across the intersection, so I'm giving it accelerator again. This is just hesitating too much on intersection. And it's taking the long way around again. It should go up and over. Nobody behind me. I'm hoping I can just let it go on and do its own thing this time. It's completely clear. And this time it takes off perfect. That was a good intersection. Tran or, how do you even say it? Ooh, dominoes? Yeah, dominoes. Where's my super pursuit button? Follow the Domino's car. I need pizza. All right, we'll be making a right turn here. You gotta keep your hands at the ready. Let's see what kind of right turn it makes. A little fast. That's a little fast for this corner. Even cruise control usually slows down more than that. We're driving in the middle of the road. Okay, it moved over a bit. See all the cars. Good, 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 good. Stopped here. Should turn right. Let's see what happens if I hold the accelerator. Mm, it's confused by that circular drive. Okay, well, that was neat. <sighs> okay, if I want to navigate home, it wants me to go all the way around the block. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. 
that down. That's normal Tesla navigation for you. Let's manually turn into here. Let's see what happens if I give it a little point in the right direction. For some reason, it's not mapping this road. Now, no one's coming, but the car should have stopped right there. And for some reason, it's taking me all the way around the block again! <laughs> I completely passed the house! Holy crap, are you kidding me? Not only did it... It went full speed through an uncontrolled intersection. <laughs> it blasted straight past the house! And it just did it again. <laughs> Where are you taking me? It just really wants to go all the way around the block. Let's let it see what it wants to do. Gene, is Vincent sleeping? Can you look? All right, stop sign. And the car was going to run that stop sign. It did not even attempt to stop. Snapshot recorded. Oh, we found the Domino's car. <laughs> wow, that was rough. I am impressed, though, that it was able to navigate without any lines on the road. I have been able in the past to trick uh, Autopilot 1 into doing it. Very shaky, but uh, depending on the road, was successful. Why are we going straight? I don't want to go straight. It's not even navigating to my house. It's just going. Let's try again. Maybe it's something to do with navigation. Well, let's try. We'll try again. So we're going back down the road where we first saw the Domino's car when it first passed us. It'll be making a right turn up here. Okay, it's still going a little fast on this curve especially being a slow residential road. Oh, neighbor just came home, so... Van in the road, it steered around. A little too close for comfort. And we got a home. I want to see what it... Is it going to park? Okay, it's not going to park in the driveway. Let's see if we can get Tesla Vision parking to park us. Figured why not? Give it a try. I haven't tried it before. Um, no. No go. Now just arrived home. Well, that was an experience. And now, apparently, it sees my neighbor's car across the street in the driveway. It now thinks their garbage can is a semi truck. And my Model S has just multiplied into two vehicles. I have no complaints about that. Um, it actually looks like two different camera views. I don't know if you guys can see it. It looks like two different camera views, and they're not stitching together properly, so it looks like two different vehicles. Um, it does see the neighbor's SUV across the street. is actually pretty dark, so I am surprised. Um, I can see the rims. Ah, it's, well, it's my tinted windows, I guess. Tinted side windows. Well, there we have it. Um, our first experiences with full self-drive. Impressed. Lots of room for improvement, but I am impressed. 
So I am going to go because my sister is about to drive to Florida from Wisconsin and I have to give her a call back from all her text messages she has sent me. 